Okay, so this they want, they want to know just the exact value and the reference angle. So we have this, these two here. Again, we're not going to worry about doing the drawing and stand position because in this problem it doesn't ask for it. They just want these two things only. Whenever you have a problem like this that has a negative angle, it's always good to use the even and odd properties to eliminate that negative. So we're basically just rewriting it as a positive angle is technically what we're doing there. It's better to deal with a positive angle when we're doing reference angles. So for this, uh, for tangent negative 225, I want to use this even odd property. Tangent of negative t is equal to negative tan t. So for this, this would be the correct formula that you would want to use for this particular problem. I want to use this because that will allow me to rewrite this as a positive angle to make it easier to use for reference angles. So for this, I'm going to do tangent negative 225 is going to equal negative tan 225. Okay, so that means that I'm changing the problem now, rewriting it as a positive angle that has 225. Now that I have this, what I need to do next is I need to find out what the exact value is by doing that three-step process. The three-step process involves finding a reference angle. In order to do the reference angle, it's probably better to draw this, at least the 225, I'm going to draw that in standard position, and that, uh, again, will I'll be able to see what quadrant that's in. So 225 is down here. That's going to be in the third quadrant. Okay. Again, I'm not doing negative 225. I want to do positive 225 because I've already changed it. The problem has been changed into this one. So that's what I'm going to be working with now. It's in this here. So it's in the third quadrant. My three-step process, the first one says that I need to find the reference angle. This is three steps to find the exact value. So recall we did some examples with that previously. Reference angle is going to equal theta minus 180. So in this case, we have 225 minus 180, and that gives us uh, 45 degrees. So I'm going to put 45 degrees right here. That's my reference angle. Step two is I need to apply the trig function to the reference angle. The trig function in this problem is actually going to be the original one I had was tangent, so I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do, deal with the negative right now. I'm going to deal with that a little bit later. So first, I'll just deal only with the original one, tangent, I'm going to do tangent 45 degrees, my original trig function I had in the beginning of the problem. Tan 45 is equal to 1 if I look at my table of trig values or my unit circle, I get 1. Now, the, in, in this case, I have, I have to apply the appropriate sign. So now I want to find tangent 225. I'm not going to deal with the negative again just yet. I'm just going to deal with tangent only. The angle, original angle I had was 225, so now I want to apply the appropriate sign. All students take. T represents tangent. Tangent should be positive in the third quadrant, so I don't have to make a sign adjustment here. Tan 225 is going to be equal to 1. So if the whole entire problem was originally tangent of positive 225, then I know that my answer is going to be equal to 1. However, my problem was tangent negative 225. I've, cha I've said that tangent negative 225 is equal to negative tan positive 225. So if I want to do negative tangent 225, that means I need to apply a negative to this side. So it actually means that my answer is going to be negative 1 because I applied a negative in front of that whole formula that changed the answer here. So my exact value in this problem for tangent negative 225, that should be negative one.